Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Fleetwood Town against Akerton Stanley vlog. Now this is a big game, I say this every week, every vlog, but again they get bigger as the season goes on. We've got six games to go now, four at home, two away from home. We currently are in a relegation battle, Morecambe are picking up, Gillingham are picking up, Wimbledon not picking up just yet, but again it's a huge month for us and if we can get three points today, Acton are a good side, that you know they've, the season's basically over, 51 points, they've been on the beach the last few weeks I think, they've still been scoring goals but conceded them as well, they've lost a lot, they have five of the last six away games as well, they've got a point away at uh, Sheffield Wednesday the other week, so they are capable of pulling off. You know, decent results as well. It is a, it is a you know, Lancashire derby. I don't consider it as a Lancashire derby, but technically, for the distance, it is. Again, last time they beat us 5 1, and there's a bit of trouble with the fans. Obviously, the owner put it on Twitter, so hopefully, there's none of that today. Big game. Come on, the cards. I think we win today, if I'm honest with you. 2 0. Big three points going into the last five games of the season. Oh, Chris, we have got six huge games left. Four at home. Right, I'm going to run you through the games. I want you to say win, lose or draw just quickly. Right. Today, Accrington. Win. Oxford on Friday. Probably a loss. Okay, Gillingham away, Easter Monday. Big game. Win that, win that. That's six points. Wimbledon at home. I reckon a draw, you know, mate. The Arabogi team, Wimbledon. That's seven. Wednesday at home. Lose, probably. So that's seven points. I think that takes us to, what, 44, 45 points? I think... Do you think that will keep... Keep us up by the last day. Do you think we're going to go to the last day? I think we'll be up before the last day, to be honest with you, mate. I, could your nerves take it? No, mate, I'd be shitting my pants. <laughs> Language, Christopher! Anyway, we'll carry on. Um, what's your thoughts again today? I know you said win. They are a good side. I know they've yeah. lost five of the last six and they conceded goals for fun away from home. I know they conceded four to Portsmouth just recently and they did get a decent point away at Hillsborough. What are you thinking today, though, mate? I reckon we'll win 2 1. Big in scoring? No, not today. Toto? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Total brace. Two quick questions, by the way. Yeah. Who's your player of the season so far? For me, my top three, Lane, Andrew, Biggins. Yeah, probably probably Lane or Biggins, I'd say. Because Biggins have been very underrated, I think, personally. But. Especially since Craney came in, for me, as well. Um, as well, Craney, right, at the end of the season, if he keeps us up, would you give him the full-time job or would you look elsewhere? Because I think he's had a difficult job, but for me, I think, at times, I think we could do better. But... If he keeps up, it's a huge achievement for the football club and would probably deserve it one more year with his own squad and his own budget and a crack at the whip. He's, a, he's had a very hard job, but I think we need more experience. Scoo is coming along here. I won't take him. I think we need more experience. Uh, uh. Yeah, I agree. And Chris, all the best, mate. Up the cards. Again, to lose it like that, they should have scored that. Brilliant ball, Callum Johnson, really defending. What we doing? Yeah! Lee, again, goes through the really well since coming into the side track. How's he gone through the three ball scored? We open up, we let him through, good save to Andy. That's two, it should be two nil. I count four. Four big chances got into the box, got the ball as quickly as four. I think he's after five. And again, they're just again getting on top of us now. A game of long balls and a game that they dominate and they have the better possession, the better chances. Their manager will be absolutely fuming. They've had five chances. They should be four and five year old. Yeah! Yeah. 
they're not taking it, they're a bit bullied at the back. Great and a 1 0. Again, 0 0, we were awful and they were the better side, but we got through that. We didn't concede what we did in the season. We got that goal now, we've got pushing it. We've had this lead too many times in the past few weeks, but we've not holding it on. He was a bit fat, isn't he? It's a good chance for them again, just after half time. Just got to stay alert for these last 45 minutes. We lose concentration once, they'll get a goal. Simple as that. They're a good side, but comes again. Again, they come out of the shop having head games again. Test that goalkeeper. Give him all the best. Four wide and pack on the trophy. Yeah, well, in the season, they'll do it. They'll carry yeah. on. One of those games where I think it's decided on moments. That Ellis Harrison was a moment. The goal in the first half was a moment. There's normally three or four moments in every fleet game this year. Just the other two moments have been two late goals against us every game. <laughs> Second ball! Third ball! All season, we've not won second balls. Right, All season, we've not won third first. balls. You've got to fight until the bloody ball's out of play. Again, 15 minutes since this second half now, we're growing into the game. I think we've had chances, should make it two, they've had big chances. Cairns has been a big confident goalkeeper. It's going to be huge for us these last five, six games. There you go. Well, it's experienced pro, Sean McConville has been around the block, he's such a good player. First team assist this season, it's a good finish. Again, I've said second balls have been the key, we've not been getting out to our man. Great ball in, great finish into the corner, he just passed it in. He's got that ability, and I've been a big fan of him for many years, he's one of the best players in League One. It's 1-1, one, one. it's that same old story for town again. DNA is looking to come on. I really not our best player last two or three games, he's much improved for the physical, he looks direct, he looks quicker. Taking one, and we're, we're conceding one again. Come on, still did some Clark nearly out on the score sheet there. So, Kenzie, Bishop does really well to get into the box. Good feet, lively. Good save, Kenzie. Made three or four big saves these last two or three games. He's been back. Harrison enough. He scored the goal, been lively. Should have a hat trick. But we're on, he's up lively every time he's come on. They're not having enough minutes, really. He's using the dead stick ball. Can you not have ball, Matt? That is handball. He's half full save. Oh my god. I want Kev to just come out and punch the ball like it was like a handball game, like volleyball. And I don't believe that we've got another player to go in goal. We've made three subs, Kev has been sent off. Who's having the gloves? Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this ever. He comes out, why is he punching? I said, I said, what? He's been brilliant these last few games. He's let himself out. Callum Camps, I respect you. Don't in goal. Fair play. That takes balls. Callum Camps masterclass. Go on, Callum Camps, lad. Super Callum Camps. Look at the goal! I am 
Oh crap. Hey! So Kenzie's off, we've got four minutes. Super cup cup. Fair play to him. Just gotta dig in. Nick something. on to Accrington again good corner ball I said we just need to hold on not let the ball go anywhere near the net Cam fair play you know going goals you know bravery and you know, putting his neck on the line it's a great head out 2-1 Michael Nottingham one of the biggest men in their team they are a physical team it's 2-1 95th minute yet again it's happened again it's the story of our season that is I think nine late goals against us this season by being one up at half time and losing that game of football is tough. No, really tough. It's happened again. It's another defeat. With five games to go, I think we need seven or eight points. No other team then drop points around us, so we get away with it for another week. But it's a disappointment because that should be a point game. You know, Ken should know better, really. But again, he's a good goalkeeper. He'll make mistakes, but he'll save us more points than he'll lose us. Cam's fair play, bravery to go in. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later. Can we get 200 likes on this video? I'll see you later. Again, it just feels so deflating. We've got five huge games. Seven points maybe needed to stay up.